Welcome back to World of Tanks with the Captain, and I got some great new news. I have upgraded my computer. My entire rig has been switched out, and in, well, previously to this, I was running an iMac. That was late 2009, and I could run the game at uh, like medium to high settings on some of the settings at, uh, and I'd get around 35 to 45 FPS. So that was okay, but seeing as how like World of Tanks and War Thunder, which I'll be doing videos of now since I'm in the closed beta test, um, seeing as how those games were getting beefed up and the tanks were getting mega polygon increases in the next patch of World of Tanks, I pretty much decided that I needed to upgrade my rig. So, what I'm currently running now is my PC, it's running through my IMAX monitor, so my resolution is 2560 by 1440, but for the sake of this video, it's actually going to be just 1080p. I think I could actually go higher, but I'm just going to do this test at this resolution um, and then see how it goes, because I think you can actually do 2560 by 1440, because I've seen that option um, on YouTube, but I wasn't no, I wasn't sure if that was referring to the wide part of the angle or that was for that as a, the vertical part, like 1440 tall. So I'm not too sure about that, but... Either way, my resolution is now 2560 by 1440 when I play, and it, it actually changes a lot. I got a lot more screen real estate for everything else. Like, my, a lot of things are really small, and I don't think World of Tanks really takes into account for the resolutions when I actually get up this high. Like, the list of players on the top left, and the tanks, and the names, and everything, you... It's not hard to read, but it's just smaller, and I'm not used to it. And I can make the map actually quite big and it doesn't really intercede into the, the gameplay very very much either. So we'll get on to the specs of my little machine here. I have bought, uh, the processor is a i5 3.5 gigahertz quad core. So it's pretty quick and we've also got an NVIDIA G4 770 with 1550 something CUDA cores, whatever that is. But um, from what I found, and when I did my research on what I wanted to do with my my graphics card, which is pretty much the, the most important thing when you're, you're playing games, other than RAM and your CPU, um, the 770 seemed like the best money value proposition. I could go higher, I could go to this, like the 780, but it didn't seem like I got that many more, uh, like as far as FPS goes. And, yeah, this just seemed like the best bet. I also have 8 gigabytes of RAM, and it's 1600 hertz RAM. And my power supply, if you want to know that, is 750 watt power supply. And I also went with a hybrid drive this time. So it's sort of similar to a Fusion drive, like in a Macintosh, but it has a little bit better startup times. And just stuff that you do more often stays in memory. So that's the specs of my, my new computer, and that's actually allowing me to pretty much play the game at the full resolution with basically everything maxed. Like, everything says maximum. That's my res there. I've got full screen <laughs> anti-aliasing. Um, basically everything is on except for the color filter because I haven't really found one that I particularly love. So I haven't turned that really on. And it, generally, the, the game looks pretty... It looks pretty good at this resolution. You got a lot more detail in the tanks and stuff. And when the shadows are cranked, there's no more crawling or stair-stepping and stuff. I wouldn't say that this game looks... Even at this, this resolution with everything cranked on, it doesn't look as good as War Thunder. Um, but it doesn't look bad. It definitely looks better than what I was running the game at, which was 1440 by 900. So it was kind of like a quasi between sub HD and full HD. Um, I'm now past full HD into the land between 2K and 4K as far as resolution goes. So that's just a quick rundown on what uh, I've been doing for the last week. And 
my rig didn't really cost me too much money. I live in Canada, so your 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 the amount you spend on a computer is gonna be different from what I've spent. But everything all in with the I got a Prodigy Mini uh, ITX ATX case. Uh, it's actually bright red. It looks really really cool. It kind of looks like a, a red Ferrari uh, G5 Power Mac case, like one of those aluminum ones, but it's bright red. So it actually looks pretty neat. And yeah, it's got Wi-Fi built in. All in all, I am pretty happy, pretty impressed. The install went really well. And it's just nice to be able to play this game at everything maxed. Like, nothing is not turned on to the, the fullest it can possibly be. So, it'll be nice to have a computer that can last me for a good long while now. This was a pretty fun battle I had. <laughs> My 132. I only did about 1500 damage, but we ended up winning. There were some really bad, nasty tanks left, so at this point I just decided to go cap because I was a one shot. I was probably. I don't know, if I would have run into my some of my own teammates, I probably could have killed myself. So, we ended up winning, but at the end of the day, that's all that really counts. So, uh, I'd like to talk about a couple other small things. Uh, the War Thunder closed beta test. I got my way into that, and I just finished patching and installing all that stuff, so I'll be doing a, some quick introduction run-through stuff on my experiences with it. Obviously, I have never played it before, so it's going to be new to me, and for a lot of people, it's going to be pretty new to them as well. Um, so, that will probably be coming sometime this week. I'm not entirely sure when, because unlike the closed beta test, or the the test server stuff in World of Tanks, which is up like 24-7 seemingly, um, this stuff isn't open all the time. So, it's there's a schedule for when you can actually play the game and that's at the point when you know I'll be actually be able to play it and then I can actually record it so I've got to get those times uh, down in my head and I'll be able to record some of that and get some of that up on my channel so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy my first 1080p video with full motion blur Ooh. With motion blur actually maximized, it actually looks not too bad. It doesn't bug me at all. Maybe it's just because the resolution is so high and everything's so fine. It uh, it feels pretty nice, actually. War Thunder also has motion blur in its game as well. So, going to conclude this video with that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.